My name is Joanna Mall. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for affording me a few moments of your time to speak tonight. As with many of you, I'm a person that each and every day wears many hats. These hats enable me to offer different and unique perspectives on many of the matters that have been discussed during the last 15 months and the decision that we made in the next few weeks that will bring the beginning of the end to the South Accommodation Review process. I come to you as a resident living in the boundaries of the South Cluster, as a parent with children that attend an HWDSB school also in this cluster, a member of the South Art Committee, an employee of the HWDSB currently working at one of the schools listed for possible closure, and finally, but certainly not least, a former HWDSB student that has lived through a process similar to this when my school was closed and I was moved to another within our board. I understand that changes must be made and that the board must rationalize its financial responsibilities and that schools must potentially be closed. I am also aware that while we would like to all believe that funding should not be the final deciding factor in all decisions, it must be taken into consideration. However, I also believe that other aspects must re be reflected upon when making decisions, not simply dollars and cents alone. I trust and believe that you too agree with this statement as has been demonstrated in a recent unanimous decision recommendation made to open a school for September 2012 with not only projected low enrollment and low utilization, but in a building that has high priority renovation needs. It is my belief and understanding that this recommendation was made in order to be able to continue to provide a valuable and specialized program offering for specific, specifically defined group of students. I will ask you to remember this when you consider your options. This evening you have already heard from people who want to save their school. They have advocated on behalf of their children and themselves in hopes to convince you that their way is the right way. My desire is that you will not just hear the words being said, but you will actually listen to what people, including myself, are saying and try to see beyond the emotion and personal stake that will be present in most cases to hear the underlying messages that are being conveyed. Tonight, like many others, I come to speak on behalf and for a specific group of students in response to the recommendations of the, of the art committees as well as those of the board students that will potentially be in one way or another affected by the decisions that are made by you in the next few weeks. I speak for the students of Mountain Secondary. I am very specific in the fact that I do not speak for staff nor my personal or professional motivation, but specifically for my students. Throughout the last year taking part in this process as a member of a South Art Committee, I have learned a great deal. My involvement has also enabled me to assist and enlighten others about the exceptional and unique students that I have the privilege of working with on a daily basis. Many people think that they know Mountain students, and in fact, some do. However, the majority of others that are not directly involved with our students at the school do not. They often hold preconceived notions, assumptions, and idea of what they believe to be true. They do not truly understand our students and their needs and have never interacted with them on a personal level. I say this not to criticize, but simply to educate. After all, that is the business that we are in. Without knowing the students at Mountain Secondary, you cannot understand why the school and the program is so vital and important to them and their success not only educationally, but also as they graduate and enter into independent living. The opportunities that they are able to experience while at Mountain in the majority of cases would not be realistically achievable if they were in another environment or another school. While instructional time is an important factor, in this case, I speak of things that go beyond this. Experiences that include being a member of student council, playing on a school sports team, and not only being tolerated by their peers, but finding acceptance and friendships amongst them, sometimes for the first time in their lives. Things and experiences that go beyond the classroom to help our students build confidence teach advocacy, and ultimately assist them and prepare them for success in life. These are just a handful of the qualities that assist Mountain students in achieving their full potential. So now I pose a question to, for you to think about. If you are an employer and you were looking to hire an employee, 
Would you hire them simply based on what their resume said? I am sure that you would agree with me that in most circumstances you would not. You would call them in, you would ask them, you would meet them, and you would get to know them before making your final decision. And then, and only then, would you make the decision to hire your, this, this person. I invite you to come to my school, not on an official visit, but an informal one. Bring your lawn chair, sit with me as I do on a daily basis in front of the school as I greet and welcome every single student and know them by name as they get off their bus to start their school day. Learn for yourself why it would be a mistake to close their school and sacrifice them because if you do in fact choose to close Mountain, that is what you are doing, sacrificing the students within it. Thank you for your time. Any questions for clarification from Joe? Seeing none, thank you for your thoughts tonight. It's appreciated. Need somebody to move receipt. Thank you, Trustee Johnstone, seconded by Trustee White. All in favor of receipt of the of the presentation. That is unanimous. Thank you very much.